Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, Understanding Safety in Ground Handling Operations on Aircraft Stands. In this lecture, we are going to look at the role of Hazard Identification and Reporting System in ensuring ramp safety. It is necessary for all airports to have a Hazard Identification and Reporting System especially for airside operations that includes the ramp. It is simply a system where a proper mechanism is developed for airside workers to identify and report safety hazards wherever observed and by whomever observed. It can be as simple as circulating an email address to all departments working on airside where a report may be forwarded for any identified safety hazard on the airside. Behind that email address must be a management team that regularly checks received complaints and take actions to resolve them. And ramp workers must be encouraged to report such safety hazards wherever identified. In its more sophisticated form, a hazard identification and reporting system can be in the form of an online portal where different departments operating on the airside could log in and report a hazard that the online portal automatically categorizes and processes. Once reported, safety hazards can be coming from different departments. For example, a GPU operator may report that he found FOD on apron comprising broken zips and luggage plastic pieces. Now when such an observation would be reported on the system, it would be inferred that whichever agency or company is providing baggage handling services on the ramp is not implementing FOD inspection after operation. So that team behind the email address we referred to would take up the matter with that company to sort it out. Over time, it becomes possible to identify trends in complaints by making categories and recording date, time, and nature of safety hazard. For example, airside can have a particular hot spot where GSE vehicular accidents take place, because maybe it is a turn with an unexpected blind spot for the drivers. Such a reporting system can be made to plot the places of accidents, analyze, and then identify such hot spots for airport management to take preventive actions, which in case of our example, can be as simple as installing a roadside mirror for drivers to see if another vehicle is coming from the other side of the turn. Airport management can then gauge its progress in airside safety by analyzing whether safety hazard reports are following an increasing trend or decreasing trend year by year. An important catch is that on the face of it, such reporting systems appear to be flooded with complaints that don't seem that critical. However, you must understand that this is normal. This is normal for such a reporting systems and it does not mean that the system is any less efficient. As per Airports Council International Safety Handbook, with every 600 reported occurrences of no injury or damage, there are 30 incidents involving minor property damage or minor injuries, 10 accidents involving major property damage or serious injuries, and only one major or fatal injury. However, the goal of an airport must be to work its way up to reducing the frequency of accidents and incidents. Therefore, trend analysis, categorization, and proper monitoring of such a reporting system is important to reduce chances of both minor and major incidents on airside. That includes the ramp. In this way, hazard identification and reporting system, once fully implemented in letter and spirit, would remove safety hazards from the airside by fixing problems time and time again. It in turn gives rise to a safety culture that serves as a backbone for ramp safety. 
With this, we conclude our discussion on the subject. See you in the next lecture.